This is a proclamation for National Mentoring Month, January 2022. Whereas Frederick youth are Frederick's future, and it is important that we strengthen and challenge their minds through effective mentoring. Whereas a mentor is a reliable presence who dedicates time to a young person to help them develop personal strength and reach their full potential through a structured and trusting relationship. And whereas mentors can help build character, encourage goal setting, boost self-confidence, and motivate young people to exceed their own expectations, mentors often fill many roles, serving as friends, role models, instructors, and dependable sources of stability and care. And whereas research shows that mentors offer valuable long-term effects on youth by increasing their academic interests and decreasing the likelihood of substance abuse and other behaviors, quality mentoring also familiarizes young people with positive influences and new ideas and helps them transition to adulthood by giving them tools to make healthy choices for their future. Whereas the COVID-19 pandemic has deprived children and teens of the socialization aspect of school, and it is as vital as ever for mentors to be reaching out to youth and providing them a positive influence and filling that void. Social media, video conferencing software, smartphones, and safe pandemic procedures make it possible for mentors to continue to provide youth the guidance and support they need and deserve. And whereas Mentoring Month raises public awareness of the importance of mentoring, recognizes the enthusiastic and dedicated individuals who serve as mentors to our youth and encourages more Fredericktonians to make a difference in the life of a child or teen through mentoring. Now, therefore, I, Michael O'Connor, Mayor of the City of Frederick, do hereby proclaim January 2022 as National Mentoring Month and celebrate the many local organizations who work to provide mentoring services to those in our community. Signed by the Mayor on behalf of the Board of Aldermen and the residents of the City of Frederick. Thank you.